Look what you've done, Byzantium. You've made her cry now because you just can't stay out of a civil war for more than 30 seconds. All that effort yesterday wasted. We got so close to grabbing a duchy within only a few years of grabbing ourselves an estate. And then we went to all-out civil war to overthrow the Byzantine Emperor. Someone quite rightly pointed out in the comments that the person who declared the civil war um, was after we ousted their their our uh, theme right after we we put ourselves in succession we kind of forced our way in there maybe just to try and kick us out anyway here we are in byzantium now luckily we did accidentally i'm going to pretend i did this on purpose did uh kind of make a lot of alliances here a lot of political allegiances across the board very conveniently the person who is at war to take the byzantine empire not this one uh is it this one so there's one of these many wars oh it could be that one what's this one Invasion of Syria. No, it's definitely this one then. So, uh, Governor Romanos, the person who is now in line to be the Byzantine Emperor, also happens to be our friend. Also has a personality type that could benefit as there. A zealous lackey. Maybe not the zealous part, but certainly the lackey part. We can absolutely outmaneuver this guy when it comes to a, a bit of politics. He's very learned. 36 learning, in fact. What an incredible guy. Sadly, not where it counts. Of course, we're far more diplomatic. We're far better at martial and intrigue. Uh, and stewardship. Pretty much all of the other four <laughs> skills. A lot of people saying that we need to uh, really focus on the family a lot more, and I do agree with that. Of course, uh, sadly, Grigna died, and now our son and heir, we've got either Getir, which is currently in line. Of course, we married him off yesterday to just somebody who had some... Wait, she was robust as well. I didn't even... I didn't even notice that. I just went with her because she's quick. So, Getir is now our, uh, our our heir. He's incredibly good. He's also maximum governor efficiency. 27 diplomacy means we can really do some some deft work with him he's also only got naive appeaser so if we're able to up his education a few times as well this guy is theoretically like i said going to be the final character of our playthrough it's also one-eyed so i kind of like that for the for the kind of poetic norse aspect of things they've got a kid stein getier son who is um i i said strong like stone apparently not uh given that he's ill there so he might die soon but that's okay we're not we're not too worried about that at all how is she looking Drinking binge and bun uh, what did I just say? Drinking binge and drunkard have definitely taken an edge off of her health there. But she'll be okay. This is you and there's still work to be done. You're goddamn right. Because you might remember one of her big life goals, uh, uh, on top of anything else, was of course that Shadow of Fame Twilight. Destined to become or determined to become as famous as their parents. It was a very famous person. Can we see him right there? What was he, what was he on in the end? I guess he was just a legendary figure, but as I recall, he had like 15,000 prestige. It might be very, very hard to achieve that, but that's a goal, and that's what we're going to try. Get her married, because her husband died yesterday, rather sadly, rather early. Wow, 68 isn't bad going, but certainly died before his time. Oh, no, he died of old age and not cancer in the end. Oh, I do remember reading that out now that you've said it. Sorry, I'm very busy in real life right now. It's, uh, it's a total mess of things. I won't go into details, but just bear with me a little bit this week. And then when the new series starts, we'll hopefully re-rail this otherwise derail Crusader King's train. Taz, the Tasmanian devil himself. Uh, we could marry this guy with 29 intrigue. It might be more sensible that we marry someone who might offer us good alliance power, but that's no one really. What about non-matrilineal? If we turn off matrilineal and then say alliance power, this fella, who's also a total nobody, really, there is no one for us to marry of any value whatsoever. This guy's got the highest prestige gain, but he's also just a, a non-lander guy. He's the son of a captain. We might as well just marry for skills. So let's marry Taz. I, I think that's pretty good. He's 28. She's 65. Listen, it's a marriage of, of convenience and skills. Obviously, there are no chance of children there. That's, that's never anything relevant. She's just bringing him on board as a trusted confidant more than anything else, and I think that's absolutely acceptable. You will be joined with my acquaintance. Very good. Thank you. That's it. We don't need a feast or a wedding. We don't need to advertise that to the realm, huh? We have to pick a lifestyle. Oh, because we totally finished. Yeah, you're, you're right. We totally finished that, didn't we? Intrigue. Could make the most sense. Uh, we're going to go foreign affairs focus. I, I know that's a drop in the bucket when it comes to diplomacy, but I think it makes the most sense just in terms of actual characterization. Trying to trying to win over some alliances here in the realm. Can we ingratiate ourselves to anyone else while we're kind of in the neighborhood? I would like to find the most powerful vassal in Byzantium and befriend them. I think that's a pretty solid idea, huh? Let's have a look. Uh, who's in line? This guy here, Governor Saud. Right. Of Chaldea. Okay. Okay. Sure, then. Let's befriend you. 
uh, let's try and get as many friends as possible. That's obviously going to help with uh, the chance of them joining schemes. That's going to help with them when we make requests of them and stuff like that. Obviously gives benefit points to uh, personal schemes. There's all sorts of good reasons to do this. Ooh. I've I'm begun struggling to recall. Was the Byzantine Empire truly just utter darkness and disorder before the noble Basilius Arnikos took up his scepter? Um... He's been here for five minutes, and we've been in non-stop civil war and invasion since. Did socialize, do we have anything but sharing Cardius company? Did our soldiers chant out some ugly garbled stranger's name? Our magnates, did they deign to kiss feet not made of the perfect flesh of Odin's Basilius? Close enough. I need not remember, really. To question my sovereign's unerring legitimacy would be fruitless. Interweave my family at, with his august kin. Increased marriage acceptance. This guy would be better. Yeah. Oh, they're the same dynasty. Right. Sorry, yes. Threw me off because they're different different cultures. Um, the mighty, mighty Basilius may not need my aid. I, I mean, you're going to be ousted. You're in line to the throne. You seem like quite a powerful guy. I w and this is exactly what I was talking about. And I kind of cut myself off. I'm very good at that. I was, I was going to say, we should try and marry some of our other family members to... Well, their family members, quite honestly. If I say grand wedding, are we sort by, like, prestige? Okay, maybe that's not right. Alliance power. Can I look inside my own realm? <laughs> maybe we maybe we should here. Uh, can I not just say inside my own realm? Top realm mine? I don't want to look across the world. I want to look inside Byzantium, see if there's anything valuable in there. Oh, for bloody Pete's sake. The one time I actually want to use that. Well, we're going to have to find some uh, powerful, powerful dukes and uh, preferably their children. Well, who's the heir of your heir? Far too young. Okay, let me, let me hunt around here and see if I can... Horrible choice of words. Let me hunt around here and see if I can find a lady for him to marry. Miriam Cardias. Okay, well, we'll try. I don't think they will accept in a thousand years. Grand wedding? Will not accept. We've got matrilineal. Oh, Jesus. But then we lose the grand marriage. They are just not going to take that. It's the different faith. Minus a thousand. Holy shit. So we're never going to get any betrothals whatsoever. Jesus, they could be our best friend. They could owe us a life debt. We are never, ever going to get a marriage going through with that. Oh, bollocks. I, I like the idea of sticking with Asatru. Oh, who's this man? Oh, that's your husband. Hi there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> I thought we were in a regency there for a brief second. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, I believe we're married. That's good. Uh, what was I talking about? Right, I don't know that, that really we need to hang on to Asatru if it's going to be so inconvenient. We've got a lot to do and only one character, like I said, for that for that kind of self-imposed limit. Ah, <sighs> but I also don't just want to discard it. Is it better just to... I mean, anybody could just discard it and become orthodox and marry and work your way up. To do it as Asatru might be a bit more of a flex for how good this dynasty really is. And I have faith in this dynasty. We did a bloody world tour for a goddamn reason. Have a feast and just wait for this all to blow over. I can't really afford it right now. I still want to upgrade my estate proper. Let's have a look, see if we can actually afford anything here. Ingratiate family. Yeah, it aims to win the favor of a house. People are saying this is very, very powerful. Very, um, very much kind of the, the, the way that we get a lot of upwards momentum. So that's what we're going to go for here. What do we want to do here? Do we want to uh, mightily impressed by my feats? Prestigious image. She does want prestige. She wants to be as famous as a forebear. So we're absolutely going to go with that. Now we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait for this war to end for the new Basilius to come in before we make any political plays, I think. What have we got here? Noble carrots. What does that do? Prestige up by 5%. Rousing speech just gives you prestige. Earnest effort. Personal scheme. 10 days faster per scheme phase. That's cool. And then grimacing is right now. I don't really want that. I think we'll go down the diplomat tree then. Independent ruler opinion plus 15. Fellow vassal opinion I think is what I'm more interested in there. Political scheme length is... Uh, so this is enemy political scheme phase. 30 days slower. That could be pretty useful if we become a major player. Not that we will I think within her lifetime. But we'll give it a go. Faction targets the Basilius. I got some bad news for you. A faction might be a total waste of time. Another faction. Oh, God. And now another war. Liberty is broken out by Duke Conrad of Neustria. Okay. Because they've grabbed... They've grabbed some territory up here, I would assume. Okay, then. What, what are you actually fighting over? Sorry. Just a Liberty War. Liberty Wars, what is that? To, to uh, rescue people of your culture or something like that? Prisons every rebellious vassal and gains a title. What am I looking at here? Who are... Oh, he's joined as an ally. I was going to say, what, what is that about? I can demand payments. I'm going to demand one of my son. Pay up. Golnar, pay up. Don't know who you are. I'm not going to demand it of Strategist Ionos because we could maybe do something with that. I have no idea how to pronounce great names. So if it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay. 
you, uh, you have my sincere apologies. Ooh, Governor Saud has become our friend. Very good. Okay, now let's go down. Uh, let's actually look at powerful vassals now instead of just the line of succession. Oh, friend released. <laughs> what a pop-up, eh? Right, let's have a look. How do I find powerful vassals in... You just saw it by this, don't you? I remember. Uh, you then, Stratados uh, Eustianios. He's pretty good. I think we can win him over quite easily as well. This should be quite an easy one. Uh, befriend. Excellent. We just go through. We befriend every single vassal in the realm. And then I think our political dealings should be a lot easier. Well, to be fair, probably very straightforward given how this game works. And it's over. A resplendent coronation. We now have Malik al Muazam Romanos Cardius of the Byzantine Empire. The guy that we befriended. Very powerful stuff. An Orthodox Egyptian. Interesting. Okay. Um, now, the, the, the Malik al Muazam's friend shall be rewarded. That's a bit of a weird way to phrase that. Is that it's not Malik al Muazam? Is that not his name? I guess not. Okay. Uh, I, I, I've not heard that title before, so far enough. His subjects pray, Sif, preserve the reign of your majesty now and always. Sometimes these kind of localized god names don't really work, do they? I don't know why his subjects, as an orthodox Egyptian, are praying to Sif, the Norse god. But there we are. Ah, uh, ooh. Because of his high legitimacy, we gain 60 influence right off the bat there because we're his friend. That's pretty nice. Publicly support him. Oh, we just we just get money and lose stress. Beautiful. Oh, that's, that's good, because in, influence seems kind of hard to come by. People are saying that influence is, is pretty difficult to come by, so take it when we can find it. God damn, I'm happy with that. Hey, it's all coming up us, huh? Let's have a look at the government type, then, and see if we can request a governorship from anywhere. Let's see, who have we got lined up here? Anybody who's willing to give me a title? Well, obviously, they're not willing to give me a title, but he's willing to give me their title, which is all I'm really after. Athens was, of course... Oh, Jesus. They are all pretty locked in right now. 56 on Chaldea. Okay, that was his old title, if I'm not mistaken. Gene Oh, no, no, no. Have I got the right person? Chaldea is the person we've just befriended, correct? Yeah. So the previous Basilius is there. So it makes sense that he might want to... Uh, might want to accept us for that. Ooh. Shall I just... Should we just try it? It's a 56. It's going to cost us 290 influence, though. Oh. Ah. Uh, if we try it, it wouldn't take as much more to try it again, ultimately. How expensive do these get at the highest end? 300. Yeah, see, we can kind of make two attempts here without... So, so why aren't you accepting us, more importantly? Personality minus 25. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they're just effective governors that belong to powerful houses, most of which are in his house. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, fair enough. As governor of the air belongs to a powerful family. Unless we can wall our way up to being a powerful family, which of course we're not going to if we're just a Dutch, uh, like a, like a, a, an estate in the capital. I think maybe a roll of the dice is the right play here. Can we become a counselor? I mean, he would be silly to not make us a counselor. Become steward? He will accept. He'll just let us on the council. So we'll offer to be his... Uh... We're going to kick this guy out. That's fine. We offer to be a steward. We gain extra taxes, extra influence, domain taxes, construction cost benefits. Ooh, maybe we go prestige then. Diplomacy lifestyle experience up by 20% I like as well. Enemy political scheme potential is lower. Fellow vassal opinion plus 20 because we're the Chancellor of Byzantium. That alone, you've got to admit, it's kind of a flex to say that only two episodes ago we were some random mercenary leader, effectively. Obviously, to us, we were us, but to them, we were just a random mercenary leader who just rocked up in Constantinople one day, you know, famed throughout the world, but we were just a person. New nobility. Ah, here we go. Tiana family has gained the right to be considered part of the nobility. Okay. Fair enough. Are we on the council? We're going to hear back from him? Has he put us on there? Maybe he just accepts us outright? No. No! We were overlooked! How dare he? Uh, frame the letters. Whatever. God damn it. I thought we were going to be in there. I thought that was a, I thought that was a shoe in He hasn't got a marshal, but I can't re-ask for a position, can I, for a while? 3rd of October. It's me looking at the actual calendar then. Jesus, the brain is pickled. We can't ask for another 25 years. That is actual horseshit. Uh, okay. So request appointment. Re uh, request appointment support for me. I should go to the people that I've got. 
and possibly use the hook on that, correct? So maybe that's the route that we go down here. Alternatively, challenge the status, try and steal his influence. I'm not going to do that. Oh, he will declare me regent if I want to. I'm not going to have him declare me regent. There's got to be something we can do with this guy now that we've, we've, we've befriended him again. What's candidacy? For, I don't want the Byzantine Empire. I just want something, you know? So uh, we were looking at, what was the name of that duchy again? It was, I just saw it then for a second. T, 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 T. Ah, uh, Chaldea, that was it. He's written enough influence to be the first in line. So we could just do that and just rip our way up to the top. 687. I forgot 178. I just blew through all my fucking influence. Ugh. Okay, well, that set us back and we really didn't even get anything to show of it. That's a little bit bullshit, isn't it? That it's like 100% will accept and then did not accept. That's a little... I kind of like a refund on that one, but that's okay. These things happen. Nonna's gone. Nonna died of old age. Oh, Nonna. I guess that's why they call you that. Ah, uh, I can make Sophia my courtier. A random... Hello. Where have you come from? Has she been part of our... Ah, Viva Hui's daughter. Hello. Oh, wowee. The name continues. That's cool. She's a bastard. No, she's not. No, no, that's that's his daughter. I, I guess... I, I know it is his daughter, though, isn't it? He slept with her, but she was married to someone else or, or something like that. Am I remembering that correctly? I'm not sure. That, to be fair, could be his son. Because that is the... They look very, very similar. I can believe that. I, I, I choose to believe that. Hey, there we are. We befriended Strategos Eustianios. Okay. I don't really know what to do right now. I mean, I want to befriend the powerful ones, and I suppose slander the... Take take influence from the lower tier ones to try and build ourselves back up quickly. <laughs> Even though I should be getting a refund. <laughs> this guy is about to die. Catapan Antonios of Crete. Could we worm our way in there somehow? In that... In the meantime, in the interim... Ah, uh, probably not. Graciate family. Can I use that on the Basilius? I presume not, because he's our liege. I could just go to whoever's landed in his dynasty, so... Oh. Oh, I could just go to you and ingratiate to you if that doesn't work. Let's have a look here. Uh, where is ingratiate family? I guess you just can't do it to the Basilius. All right, let's have a chat with you then. Hi there. Uh, can't ingratiate to him. Fair enough. I feel like a lot of these aren't super useful, are they? Not in this situation. Like, maybe this guy who's our friend who we want to promote make him Basilius if we didn't stand a chance. That way, he's obviously Basilius. We could, I don't know, say, oh, crazy here, request a council position from our friend who's then the Basilius to get us in a state of power. Not that apparently that works. How, how do I ingratiate then? Is it, does it just make you friends with a particular family? Like, why can't I do it to that guy? What's the difference? Sadly, you can't even see the, oh, there you go if you're already friends okay but how does that help though what's that doing for me are they gonna help me why can't i do it on this guy it's a shame that it, that the like in ck2 the decision isn't still there but crossed out so that you can see exactly why that doesn't work on certain characters but that's okay that's all right i'm sure i'll figure it out by going to a character that we can be ingratiated and just doing it appreciate family we're already friends yep it's so like the only ones I can visibly see the... Ah, here we go. So what does this do then? Ingratiate family. Powerful families expand its reach by winning the favor of a lesser house. Right. That's what we have to do. So we have to target weaker houses? How the hell are they weaker houses? Lesser... How are they lesser houses? I mean, our house gets that, so I could do that. Okay. If successful, he gains influence. He gains opinion of us. It's a very, very hard scheme. I mean, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Then I want to befriend uh, this guy here. Tormarch's Leon. I have no idea how to pronounce any of these things. Uh, <laughs> we'll go with him. Listen, trip me in England. Okay, trip me in England. Even, even medieval England. I can make a very honest attempt. Probably pretty well at a lot of those. I, 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 like Scandinavia, I can probably manage. France, Germany. The more easterly, easterly we go, the more doomed we are. And speaking of being doomed... You get in the tray infirm. Infirm of body, you gotta bear in mind. Not infirm of mind. She's still sharp as ever. She just might not be able to get on the battlefield anymore. Somehow she's still got 37 prowess. I feel like infirm isn't enough of an impact on prowess to say that she is 
uh, pretty much bed bound. Who's my best friend? Björg or these two great guys that we are winning over? I'm going to go with Björg. Obviously Björg. Yes. Obviously Björg. We can abdicate. Ooh. Ooh, now that's a tempting button. Oh, come on. Maybe I should abdicate and take him before he... Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. I, I feel like I should abdicate now because if he dies, we're going to end up playing as fucking George. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, this is such a bad situation because George is 31% governor efficiency. This guy's 50 even when he's ill. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. She wouldn't, though, because she's diligent. Stick with her. Stick with her. Believe in her. Oh, God. Okay, if I decline, we're imprisoned. This is, this is, this is a bad time. I think I'm going to say yes. I think I'm going to accept we accept we can make marriages and that would certainly make this whole situation a lot easier throw away that thing that made that we've carried from the very start hundreds of years Ugh. it's an impossible decision isn't it i get i guess i've got to do it no you know what stick to your guns decline what if he imprisons us we step down because at that point, she's diligent and she would pass the torch because she cannot work if she's imprisoned. Let's see what happens. Is he going to imprison us? Is our friend going to imprison us for that? I doubt it. I doubt he'll do that because we're already friends in the first place. Follow Vassal Opinion Plus 15. I actually like that a lot. He's not going to do it. He's not brave enough. He's not brave enough, nor does he hate us enough. Oh, Jesus. Don't start this already. We're at war. This guy I've just started trying to befriend. He's also ill. What's happening? And there she goes. There she goes. You know what? I'm glad I didn't abdicate. I'm glad I didn't abdicate because that would have been... It would have been the wrong choice given that she died a couple months after. We would have never have known. But this, she died working right through to the very end. And you know what? That, I think, was very much in her character. Very much in her wheelhouse. A woman who always put the good of her family above all else. And that's exactly what I said that character was trying to do. So I'm happy with it. She spent her life trying to ensure a glorious future for all of her descendants. Again, I said that a thousand times. Super happy with that. Lord Gettier. Okay. Let's see what we can do then. Fresh slate. I feel like it's been a lot of wheel spinning this episode. But we're kind of, kind of locked in through some potentially poor choices. Oh, God. This council's not going to be too good, is it? Oh, it's not terrible, though. It's fine. Okay. Let's have a look at you, then. What have you got? You have so many bloody perks, my guy. Seven learning perks. Uh, I think we start with the plum. Uh, what, what are you, who are you? Brave. Forgiving. Patient. Brave and patient is a nice combo. Forgiving. Banded hook interaction. Right. This, none of this says that he wouldn't do any sort of scheming or intrigue. The Knight Intrigue says that he wouldn't do any scheming or intrigue. So let's go for diplomacy then. Follow your mother's footsteps. Let's go for diplomacy. Let's go foreign affairs focus. We're going to say befriend straight off the bat. We're going to follow that with... Who? Flatterer. I think we go for flatterer. Let's go for all the things in Overseer. We're not going to war. We haven't got any troops. Governor efficiency, 5%. I like that. Uh, hard rule. Yep, that's fine. Stewardship. We will go for... Golden obligations, I think, is a solid start. I think everything else in Avaricious is totally pointless. Cutting cornerstones, I'll take. I'll probably take professional workforce, too. Then he's got loads of stuff in learning for some reason. So let's go for... Ooh... Pedegedy. Let's go for open-minded for different cultural opinion. That's obviously going to be very relevant. Apostate is going to be fantastic. I think we just go right down the scholar tree here. Pretty much all the way through to scholar itself. What have we got? Sanctioned Luke Falls. I, I want to send this guy immediately to university because he's dog shit. <laughs> and your son needs a guardian. You will be your son's guardian. He's got 36 diplomacy off the bat. So in terms of his stats, he's better than his mother. 
that shows obviously all of her stuff that she had going on there without the modifiers. So this guy has a lot more potential than her. We've just got to really, really, really work for it. I'm thinking lots of university trips, that type of thing. This is going to be our final character. Promote the de jure and cultural integration of your estate's county. What the hell does that mean? My family estate is located in a somewhat turbulent area. It's not necessarily disadvantaged. I can help my liege bring local population more firmly into the dominion of the Byzantine Empire for promoting my, physic uh, my, my political and financial position. Integration promoter. Whoa. 0 0.5 per month for... How long? For 15 years. Well, wow, that's the long game, isn't it? Good lord. Uh... I can't figure that out. I can't do the maths off the top of my head. It will more than pay for itself, though. Interesting. Okay. 200 influence just immediately gone, though. Or do we want to renounce aspiration for the throne? I'm not bothered by that. If it gave influence, perhaps. Let's sit on the influence we've got. Because maybe, maybe we might be able to uh, claim a governorship again. I want to keep enough in the bank so that should the opportunity come up, we have enough to uh, leap on that. Let's keep 300 in the bank at all times, and then at least we can capitalize on it. If the opportunity comes up, it might not. I don't think it will. We'll, we'll have to some kind of befriend. I think befriend the Basilius pretty much immediately again. Off to join his war is a good start. Can't. Holy war. Right. Bollocks. Uh, befriend. Scheme on's poor. I'm going to give it a go. We're also going to try and... Oh, learn a language scheme. Yeah, we're already skimming against him. Fair enough. What language do you speak? Arabic? Greek and Arabic. L uh, I presume you do as well. Arabic and Greek. Right. Fair enough. Learn your language then. Decent odds. Replaces the other one. I'm so used to playing the character with two schemes. That's... I've, I've lost my damn mind. How long until we can do that? 4th of August. Another... 30 years! Oh, God. <laughs> don't don't say anything. <laughs> don't say anything. I feel like I'm just deadlocked right now. I, I don't know how to ascend this ladder in our current situation. I feel like I feel like we've got to flip religion. What do I do? I challenge their status. So so let's let's stick with that play. Let's go to the weaker vassals. Not for any particular reason. Um, let's, let's go to let's, let's go by administrative government instead. Yep, good for you. Let's go for these shitty vassals, and then let's just go and hit them with some sort of like challenge status. If I go for the more influential ones, do I get any benefits to that? Other than pissing off a very high tier family. Like, for example, if I go for you, challenge status. Scheme odds are excellent against you you as well. It just says gain influence, but it doesn't tell us how much. Okay, okay. Let's go for agents increasing the scheme potential. Sure, let's go for that then. Let's really stick with hitting this. Can I just see people who will actually accept? Thank you. Okay, 724. Oh, my God. We've got one person who will accept. Fucking hell. Here's what we've ordered then. Sort by contribution. Let's like go for this guy, for example. He's quite highly skilled. He can be convinced. I could send him a gift. I'm not going to send him a gift. Not for that amount. I think this is the guy that we possibly want to maybe start swaying. As kind of a future investment. I know that's cancelled the scheme. I'm not worried. Let's do that. And then let's just see if we can get this going then. Here. Sure. Join me. Okay. Uh, 18. Problem is, this, this, this is going to cut into my... Yeah, this is going to cut into my success chance pretty majorly. So let's go for those first. Fucking hell. Ingebjörg, let's put you in. And then... To be fair, our, our success chance isn't super low. 69%. Nice. Put you there for a little bit of speed. 70 days per phase. 69% success chance. This is going to take the rest of my human life. Good lord. Ah, oh, well now he's about to be overthrown by Strategos Eustianos. Really? Really? We're doing this, are we? Ionikos' claim on the Byzantine Empire. Right. Um, okay, we're changing our scheme again. <laughs> okay, forget about that guy. We're going to start swaying you instead. We'll try befriend. Did I was that a sway or was that a befriend? It was a befriend. Good, I meant to befriend. Oh, Jesus. And now the, the Serene Doge is here. What is this? Fifth Crusade? Uh, Fear is far more effective. Oh, let's get a little dread. Oh, beat your sister? No. 
What the fuck? No, what are you doing? More important men to impress. Yeah, impress the Basilius. If, oh, Jesus. It's all falling apart. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much with this final character, but we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what we can do with this. I feel like jumping in at the deep end very suddenly and putting a time limit on it was the wrong call, but never mind. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll lower the, the befriend phase length, see if we can do something before there's too much upheaval in the realm. This guy's probably not going anywhere for a hurry, so if that scheme takes ages, I'm alright with that. It takes ages. That's not a problem as far as I'm concerned. That's more than... Oh, God. Scheme is frozen. That's fine. There's treasure below us. Hey, 15 gold. Beautiful. Oh, we've made a friend. Great. That's good. That's good. We've just made a friend with the guy who's probably going to be the emperor. Oh, no. It's in favor of our current guy. Impressive. So, we're probably the worst guy to make friends with then in hindsight. Good. I hope we're not... <laughs> I hope we're not an accessory then. Let's start befriending some... Some other people. I'm thinking, why don't we go for... I think we'll go for you. I'm just looking at the opinions here, just basing it solely on that. That'll do. Oh, here we go. Magistrate Ionikos was murdered by the Emperor. That was the previous Basilius's son. So that's probably going to throw a spanner in the works. I wonder if that will make more people join this one. War against the tyranny. Okay. If you win, do you overthrow him? Keeps his titles. Enforce demands. He's deposed. So deposing him just means it's his heir that takes over. So I should be befriending this guy. Right, gotcha. Sorry, I thought it was a claim. Okay. Strategos Xenon, you're gone. <laughs> We're going between battles, just back and forth, trying to keep up with all these fucking wars. It's so good. Right, yes, I will take some studying insights. Thank you. At least this way, we're going to become friends with the Basilius, most likely. A friend loses 33, 35 days of the current loop. You can tell the opinion of her. Okay. She's going to tell us his secrets. I don't think we need your secrets. 82% success chance. Trust yourself. You're a, you're a skillful diplomat. You might not have the education, but he's just got a natural affinity for it, which we can nurture. A bit more gold in the pocket, and we can... We can possibly just take him in the university anyway. I mean, we're not making much money right now. Unraised men at arms? Where the hell have I got men at arms from? Oh, that's right. I started to make them as raiders, didn't I? We'll see if we can do something with that. Oh, God. This is emotional damage after emotional damage, isn't it? I'm going to send these guys off raiding. If there's no hope at all for any successful raiding. What we want to hit is like isolated, weaker points. We're going to raid here. We've got 31 gold. Sure. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. But I don't think there's many places that would make sense to... Let me come up here to... We've got like Crimea. What's this one? You've got 21 loot. That's not too terrible. You're already under attack. What about that? I was going to say, I'll turn one toys, the Byzantine Empire. Sure, let's go for this then. Hello there, how you doing? Just here to raid, see what you've got. Someone's died. Challenge status ends. You've died. Well, I was challenging you? Sure I was. Okay, do we want some prosperous investments? That would not put a dent in our tax. I'd rather keep what we've got. Ooh, a mood for a dinner party. Very good. How good it is to live at the heart of that great prosperous entity. Beautiful. 60 opinion. That's what we like. Okay. Okay, foot in the door. I'll be raiding a smaller thing than the garrison. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to drop these man at arms. <laughs> it was a pipe dream. It was a pipe dream that with a better commander, I'd probably feel a bit more... A bit more likely to have pulled that off. Why can't I disband you lot? I always can be disbanded. What is this? An army of six... Just go home. Other hostile armies are around. Yes, very good. Each of your friends gives you two random skill points. That would be good. This is where I put my friends. If I had any. Family members can get married. I mean, is there any point even looking? Who the hell am I going to marry you to? I mean, it's better to marry you to someone than no one, correct? We get an alliance with the ladies of Luxembourg. Brilliant. All of them. That's probably quite a lot of ladies, to be fair. Ingfrida. We can marry her to... Let's go matrilineal. I'm going to keep my dynasty going here. Let's just see if we can get some good genetics into you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to phrase it. That was dreadful. Uh, inheritable. Right, let's have a look. Uh, as quick. As all quick. Jan. Jan Aginski. Perfect. And then uh, Björg, my sister. 
Let's go for... Ooh, genius. Genius, matrilineal. Genius, matrilineal. Yes. Holy shit. That's what I like to see. Okay, that might, that might set us up with some good stuff. Or could we form an alliance with him? That's fucking great. Who are you? Who's this man? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a random, random mercenary leader. That's all right. Politics. Drop in the bucket, right? Total drop in the bucket. General opinion plus... What was that? 28? 33. Oh, actually, it's a bit more significant than I expected. That's not bad at all. Court chaplain. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure, Ring Frida. Come and give us a hand. Most influential. Can I sort by... Ah... Uh, size? So we've got governor efficiency, right? Candidacy and succession. Income. Troops. We've got obligation type of size. Let's go by size, then. Assume you're probably quite an influential character. Force her to resign. I mean, this is all we need, isn't it? We, d we just need a foot in the door. We need to get a bunch of influency. We need to influency. We just need to influence our way into a one of the themes and then force them to step down or do whatever we can. Just keep raiding them. Maybe even do a little murder. I'm not going to say that, but that's that's possible down the line. It, uh, I think this would be quite easy with an intrigue character. Trying to do it as a foreign culture, religion, everything else. It's a bit of a mess. Let's hit you with the challenge stats again. I want to find out if if challenging the stats of more influential, larger theme is better, or just going for anybody, the weakest, easiest targets. You'd assume you get more influence if we do this, right? Okay. I'm just going balanced. I'm just go balanced. I don't think I've got any people who actually really want to join us, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh Jesus! Let's go by success chance. Thirty-two. That I like to see. Thank you. You're a good man. Thank God we start. Honestly, this could be it. We could already start getting some acceleration here because we befriended people, which is going to give us the ability. I mean, look, this is going to start giving us the ability. That was plus three. So actually, maybe putting the wife on diplomacy has given us uh, uh, that that extra ability to get people into our plots. This th we could already have set the set the wheels in motion, so to speak. Okay, I don't really care about scheme secrecy. We've just got to get the ball rolling. Boom. That's not a bad plot. That's not that's not bad at all. 83% top success. We've got 44 days per phase. 20 I'm traveling. Am I traveling? She's traveling. Don't say because you're traveling. That you're very confusing. Oh my god. My brother George stutters out with a message that with boldface gold, the thugs who coerced the common folks of Byzantium into sundering wealth was meant to go to me. George has my functionaries poised to collect our usual fees, but I foresee the widows wailing, children starving, and poor families being cast from their homes. A thousand put curse upon Governor Sal's greedy soul. This man I was trying to befriend has just robbed us. I stand by my rights to be paid. My personal feuds are not my people's. Yes. Be better than him. Okay. Okay. As soon as this is done, I'm raiding your estate. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna try and get that money back. I could try and be the diplomat. Oh, we should. Try and be the diplomat and try and uh, win him over. But we're Norse. With 53 prowess, I'm going to fight him. He became our rival. Can I, can I fight him? Can I just fight him? Challenge to a challenge to a duel? Challenge to a board game? Wage of fame. Ooh. Uh, what have you done? No, don't accuse anybody. Our We're too weak here. Okay. A little game of tabula is about to begin. Right, you'll never see my moves coming. What are you good at? Good stewardship, great learning. Learning is countered by intrigue. What is he good at? Not a lot. I think we'll get him. Honestly, I'm impressed you're playing as well as you are, considering who you're up against. Okay. My techniques cunning, cunning, <laughs> line cunningly foil my opponent. Ah. Uh, Cancer by entry, cancer by stewardship. So it was just uh, effectively a rock, paper, scissors with some influence from your skills. Okay, uh, listen. Listen, let's go with a few crumbs of score towards winning. Amazing. They've got a real way with words, haven't they? Let's go stewardship. Don't be predictable. Oh, my cunning techniques foil my opponent. I'm in the lead for now. Victor is so close that I can taste it. Um, for an entire manuals on this. Boom. I've embarrassed him. How does it feel to lose, little man? Now he becomes my rival. That's what I want. Now duel him. Duel him and kill him. Am I allowed to do that? Is this is this allowed in the Byzantine Empire? I don't think there is a way to actually duel and kill him, is there? Damn, that's unfortunate. Could murder him. Well, we've goaded him either way, so that's pretty good. I want to take his title now. This has become personal. I can almost certainly force him to step down. 
Okay. My intrigue is far better than his intrigue. I wish we had higher intrigue. What books have we got equipped here? Sorry, just to double check. Martial lifestyle experience. Don't need that. Get rid of that. That's good. I like that one. Martial lifestyle. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got here. Let's also make sure this shit is... Oh, 150. I can't afford it. I'll have to sell Master Grigner's Manual of Martial Arts. Okay, we might we might get rid of that. Oh, that's a shame. Um, stewardship lifestyle experience. Stewardship lifestyle experience. Martial... Bjerg's brooch. I don't want fucking Bjerg's brooch. Ah. <laughs> uh, Wowee. Prestige. Oh, God, they're all pretty bad. I guess I'll chuck that one on because it gives us one learning. Uh, befriend phase length, eight days faster. Does that apply per ring? Have we got any other rings that do that? That one doesn't, sadly. Oh, that one just gives diplomacy. Oh, I could get behind that. That one's learning. That one's lifestyle. That one's lifestyle. Get rid of that. Check on that map of East Francia. There you go. My sister has given birth. <gasps> quick, quick Ingfrida. Great. Oh, I'm going to name you Björg after his recently deceased, his late mother. It's so overdramatic, isn't it? Curses, she found out. Doesn't really matter. It's only one breach. Give it your all. She gains 200 stress critical, but we gain four advantages. I'm sorry, you've got to give it your all. This was mother's dream. Look at how we are fucking flying now. Look at this. Ooh. Um, credit goes to our mastermind. Plan goes well. Uh, she's going to stress out. But she's gained three learning. Sorry, it's it's how it goes. We are absolutely flying on this scheme now. Oh, this is it. We might as well just go all the way up to 20, huh? Two advantages as well from Zenobia. Brilliant. Oh, we're basically there. Okay. Una. Um, I'm going to name you. Let's see who comes up here. I'm going to name you. Oh, who else have we had in our dynasty? Astrid of the Wolf. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's see if that pops up. Uh, it should, should, I was going to say, there can't be that many ancestors. Okay, 18, 19, and 20. Boom. Okay. Execute scheme. We go all in. 91%. 91%. Beautiful. Okay, we gain 141 from that. That's a lot of influence. That's a huge amount of influence. Now let's go to somebody relatively weak by comparison and test the same thing again. So let's go for someone who's really just dreadful. Uh, ooh, unassigned. Really? Why can't I do that? I guess because actually he owns that himself. Yeah, I guess so. Because they're kind of his personal domain. And you can't undermine the emperor's personal stuff. Okay. Yeah, no extra. Okay, yeah, fine, sure. Um, Let's go to somebody relatively weak and kind of terrible. I guess we'll go for Thessalonica right now. Terrible governor efficiency. One of the smallest sizes. So this, this could be a good one to go for. So was it 144, if I'm not mistaken? Challenge status. Okay. Uh, let's go for balanced again. Balance worked pretty well last time. I want to befriend this guy because he gets 50 score. I think that's a better way to go about it, isn't it? We befriend the people who can actually help us with the schemes. Stick to the schemes. Stick to the, don't rely on befriending the Basilius, because even if you do befriend the Basilius and have a 100% chance of getting an influential position in the realm, you still don't fucking get it. I haven't forgot about that, and I won't forget about that. I want a refund. Right, let's go for, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, we're scrolling far here. Oh, no. 20 is still good. 20 is still really, really good. It's just there are a lot of skilled people. I mean, of course, it's the Byzantine Empire, right? You've got to be politically deft, which is why we have a, a house in a field, and everyone else has duchies. Socialite. Okay, so we're just looking at speed here. Not too fussed about speed. I'll be patient. Well, we do have to be worry a little bit about speed, given that this is our final character, as I've said. Okay, uh, you'll do. 23, that's good. And then secret. Uh, 27, secrecy. That's pretty nice. 42 days till next phase. 63. We've got 83 total if we hold out, which, of course, we will. We're going to hang on right till the bitter end. You want my son to be raised by your... Random, infirm, terrible character. My dear sweet Basilius, I dare say you might be trying to sabotage my dynasty. I don't care if he dislikes me. We've, we've been friends with two Basilius now and it's got us absolutely nowhere fast. So no, honestly, we're, we're for our, ourselves and that's only. Ah, uh, I, I, I like defensive negotiations, so we'll be going for that one again, I think. We're about to befriend this guy. Maybe I could bring him into the plot before this ends. We've only got a quarter of the plot left to go. And then what I'll do is I'll look at that uh, screen again. 
Figure out who's... Boom. That's what we like to see. Figure out who's also valuable political allies. Forget the size of the realms. Forget anything else. Forget the families. Forget ingratiating. We're going to go pure political allies here. So if I take you off, can I put you back in? Well, it'd be better to take my wife off because she contributes less. He will now join us. Ooh. And then we know that I want to befriend you. I think this is the right way to go about it. I think I've cracked this wide open. Beautiful. You go on. Boom. Takes up to 95% success chance. So now we've only got to wait for five advantages to push this plot through. Beautiful. Oh, obviously, the, yeah, I mean, you, you know what I meant. We, we can go for the minimum as long as we get it up to the top there, which is just about to happen, in fact. So that saved us a, a, a small, uh, saved us years. It saved us absolute years. Oh, did that not tick up then? Did you see that? Oh, there it is. Just took a little while to tick over. Right, boom. We can't get any higher. There you go. We get 145 from that one. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, really, I don't know if it really matters. Is it by who's influential? How do I tell who's influential? Really makes you think. Ah, uh, candidate in succession. Governor efficiency. Because that guy was a shitty governor. She was the best governor. And there was what? I got 177 the first time, was it? Or 137? I actually don't remember. It, it's not enough of a difference, I think, to really worry about it. Can I hit her again with it? We've got to wait another 10 years. Okay, fair enough. It's 10 years between events, I should say. Fine. Let's... Uh, our influence is growing rapidly. This seems like the, the, the way in. This seems like the way you do it. Oh, she had two different themes. Right, that could be another thing to consider. That could be another factor. So does this guy. Catapan Magistos. Great name. Uh, I'm going to hit you with the same thing. Challenge status. Bring it on. This guy giving us fifth, plus 50. We're going to get this guy. Obviously, we can't do Saud. He's really good, which is a shame. We'll win this guy over as well. Let's put him on my, on my pin list. And then I'm going to have just like an unstoppable squad of... We, we can focus on success chance. We can just blitz through it in no time, right? Just absolutely blitz through it. He won't... Uh, okay, so hold on. Zen on the plump. Put him on the list as a speed character. This is the guy that's already on my list. Oh, hold on. Wait, Zen on the plump? Oh, sorry. I thought that was... I Honestly, I thought that guy was that guy. I was like, oh, we're already... They're, they're very similar. you got to admit. They could have been twins. Okay. Uh, I think the maneuver then is we put you there. Takes up to 80% straight off the bat. Then our next person will put on a little bit of speed. This is cool. I feel like I feel like this is the way to go about it. The wheel spinning has paid off. Holy shit. People must be scared of this guy or something because I can't bring anyone else into this scheme at all. Not a single other person unless I pay them. On the plus side, hold. I think we do nothing. I don't think we add anyone else. And my reasoning for that... Oh, it's minus 17 right now because we obviously just don't have enough people. I think we wait until we get that next lifestyle perk. We go for uh, diplomatic negotiations. That will give us a higher opinion with people. And th some of those people were like only three points off of acceptance. Beautiful. Well, I mean, there's that guy as well, of course. Yeah, no, this, this could really, really work. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just chuck you... Uh, my friend. See, he's still not up for it. That's surprising. Political reluctance. Relative of powerful family. I see. Right. Fair enough. Yep. Well, let's start, uh, let's start working on this next guy. I mean, I'm just going to probably win this guy over anyway. I, I know he's unlikely to accept, but I think he's just a useful political ally to have. You just won't join at all, huh? Okay. Give me a second then. Let's just, let's just wait for this to come in. I think we might want to build a building that gets us some money, because, uh, I mean, the influence, I would like that. That'd be great. Right now, we're a little bit broke. <laughs> Is there anything that gives money? Workshop. What about at the highest levels? What are we looking at here? Good income, actually. Building construct. Ooh. Go for the Stonecutters Workshop. Yeah, I'm into that. Kind of reminds me of the quarry from that. Was it that Game of Thrones mod? Yeah, I think we're going to that then. Okay. That'll not only get us money, but it'll also... Save us a bit of cash on the side as well. 0.2 per month. So it's only going to put a dent in our current income. I've got to sack some council members. I've got to fire Anselmo. I'm sorry, Anselmo. <sighs> Can I fire anyone without taking the prestige hit? Nope. I'm going to get rid of her. She's doing nothing for us. I mean, the, the bodyguard is doing something for us. Antiquarian. I mean, that's a hard person to fire. I'm going to fire my bodyguard. 
I'm going to take the prestige ship. We're going to fire the bodyguard because that will actually bring in like a good amount of cash comparatively. Oh, well, that saves its... <laughs> Motherfucker. God damn it. Okay, she died from her wounds. Well, that's good. Now we're making a good amount of cash. We'll leave all those positions open because I quite simply cannot afford it. You can become generous, little Steen. I think that's okay. Any second now, we're going to be able to get... Oh, good for you. A powerful Byzantine family. Maybe I'll just accept getting some land. Maybe I don't want to be Basilius. Um, no, I don't want to come on too strong. I can't afford to bribe these people. We're almost there. Almost there. I might be able to... Okay, exposed. Not bothered. We've befriended him. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see if he's willing to join the plot now. He's not. Cowardly. Cowardly. Uh, Lord Theodolus, my friend. Oh, you will be my friend anyway. Just give me one second, please. Befriend you. Scheme mod's excellent. Anybody wants to join in this position? Nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, give it a minute. I bet this will do something for us. I, I have a strong feeling this will do something for us. Yes, look. Look. We're fine now. Okay. Do you know what I'm doing? It just takes me a while to get, uh, to wake my brain up. Boom. I don't need speed. I need success. But I'll also take speed. Boom. That's what we like to see. Minus 24 days till the next phase. Jesus. Okay. This is a lot better. This is suddenly sprung into action. See, with intrigue, we could carry it on our own back and we can maybe get ourselves in a good position. In this case, we'll just have other people do it for us and get us into a good position. Um... The friend scheme just gains 19 days of progress. Yeah, I'm just going to blast ahead with that. Let's take that off as soon as possible. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. That guy was his spy master. I didn't realize. Whoa. That's a heavy hit to the scheme. Okay. Well, let's bring you in. You know we're near as good. Sadly, we are going to have to wait a lot longer now. The secrecy is dreadful. What are you playing at, Zenobia? Come on now. Um... He gets a weak favor hook on me. Better avoid things like this. Yeah, I'll, I'll take two days extra to not owe this guy a hook. He's in. He's in. Okay. I'm going to get rid of you then. Sorry, fella. I, I could always put you back. And then we'll put you in instead. Beautiful. That's better. Now we're back on again. Okay. It's been, this episode has just been an emotional roller coaster. Um, that's a land grant to the estate. What does that give us? It just gives us a building. For 75 gold, 60. I can't. What do you mean my men will get the best training? Who? Who are you going to train? What, these people? George wants me to pay for a building so George can get better training. That's embezzlement, George. Xenon the plump. You would make another good, very... Oh, I've already tried befriending him. Fair enough. Okay, let's take him off the list. Well, the, the scheme's full. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take him off just to try and find who would have been good in this situation because we're basically done here. Beautiful. Let's execute. Actually, if we wait... Actually, no, there's no point, is there? We might as well just execute now. I was going to say, if we wait, we could give it another plus 1%. Beautiful. 144 again. We are drowning in influence at this point. We're almost persuasive. Ooh. Third level of influence. The next is controlling. Fourth level. The next level is authoritative. The next level is imperious. Imperious is the highest. Right. Initial political scheme success chance plus 20%. Whoa. Okay. Now, with this much influence in my pocket, let's see if we can get a governorship. Let's see if any are even up for consideration. We'll decline. Come on. Okay, Athens is a 20%. To be fair, given how quickly we're able to crack out influence, it might be even worth trying the 20%, to be honest with you. What have we got there? 20% on Epirus as well. Should I just go for it? Should we just go for it? How long does it go on cooldown for if we fail? Probably a tremendous amount of time, eh? <sighs> Based on like the personalities, minus 25. Ugh. Governor's efficiency, minus 44. Your governor efficiency, plus 38. It's just These people are just, are just good governors. Even that is minus 12. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's backwards. He's a minus 12 governor, which has given the scheme our acceptance chance of minus 44. But he's a bad governor. Should that not be the other way around? Is that perhaps backwards? You see, you see what I'm trying to say? He's a bad governor with minus 12%. Why would the Basilius not want us, a much more effective governor, to take over? I guess the point is he doesn't want to just give us someone else's title, right? I, I guess it's only supposed to be a very major, uh, a very, very minor influence on the grand scheme of things. Doesn't want to upset the status quo. Maybe that's a good way to look at it. Um, lustful. Yep, that'll loot. 
It's better than Chase, isn't it, ultimately? Not that we're ever going to play as him, of course. This is definitely our final guy. How old is he? 45. Ooh. Thorbjorn. Ooh, smart Thorbjorn. Well, there's only one name for you, isn't there? Grigna. May you grow strong and wise. Smart Grigna. So what we could do then is pick a title that we want. Which one were we uh, in line for? Let's go back to that and let's start undermining the person who's already there. Let's pick a theme and hit it hard. Just whichever had our highest chance of success. And that will be the one that we try and work over. We're going to commit everything to that. So that Athens is a 24%. So it may be Athens. Sorry, I got dreadful hiccups. I'm allergic to all this politics. Uh, Crete. Oh, no, it's just going to be Athens again, isn't it? That's okay. Oh, 26% now on Epirus. Epirus it is then. Let's mark you. We are about to be enemies. Strategos for Lothios the Tyrant. This is our target. This is our goal from now on. Slander him. Yes. Well, we don't need to reduce his influence on his own titles. He already has them. Request a raid permit. Really? He'll just accept that. Oh, that's so funny. So if we successfully raid his estate, he won't care. That's really cool. 150. Well, l listen, I might as well do that. Let's undermine him. How do you want to do this? Are you just... Oh, it's not a scheme. You just, you just fire it. Oh, Christ. Okay. Minus 4% with that one. Oh, so it's always minus 4%. Why would I not just do that? It's cheaper. It's an intrigue challenge. Oh, well, I'll just do that for 30. Beautiful. Okay, I've undermined his governance. That's good. Then we will request a raid permit. I'll take it with Norse. That's what we do here. Thank you. Uh, I've considered your letter and your concerns regarding House Durantas. Be assured, any calamity that may happen to before Strategos Philothios and his family is no concern of mine. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. We've just got to find who the Basilius hates and go down that route and just make sure that he doesn't hate us as much as 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 uh he hates them so let's sway the basilius i don't think i'm gonna be able to befriend him for a while still right i'm not gonna cancel this scheme i think we had ages before we could befriend him again let's i, I mean challenger status isn't really gonna make a difference is it slander him in public what does that do? He gains slandered. Appointment... Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Appointment succession candidate score. Minus 25. We do that. We do it to his heir. Keep them knocked down and just bring us up. That way, we can kind of hit it from both ways. Not only could we directly ask the Basilius and just take a roll of the dice, but obviously we can insert ourselves into succession that way. I think this is the right way to go about it. Okay, cool. Uh, Let's go for... Scheme potential. Really commit to it. I think this is the play. Here, I've just noticed we've been playing for an hour. I don't know where that time went. It has just disappeared from me today. Thank you for joining me in what I can only assume is an incredibly painful episode to watch, but I understand how it works now. Just just getting this this actual hands-on experience over the last hour has taught me everything I needed to know. So that's, that's, that's good. I think I understand it, and hopefully we can prove that over the course of the next couple of episodes. His sleeves don't match. Look on his shirt. One sleeve is inverted. The inverted pattern of the other. Is that intentional? Who knows? Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I, I think I, I kind of assumed it was more of a interpersonal relationship a approach to it, where it's obviously a lot more UI-driven, percentage, chance, very Crusader Kings, three its approach, isn't it? And I mean, it, and it makes sense because whenever do you hear about it in real life that a, a person in a position of power, like leading a country, would just specifically give positions to his friends and people that he owes? I don't think that's ever happened, so... <laughs> Thank you to Tortres, Zin Apparel, Grendel Offen, Fexen, Hudsu Wudsu, Dramatic Willow, The Aaron W Zero, Star Six Niner, Time Waster, Krieger 220, Vladislav Lazarov, Hoopy, Random Man 138, Cat Lord, Andrew Torture, Galaxy Wolf, please thank you. Hobo Billy Joel, Evelyn X, Deathcore Hippie, Evan Crocker, Scapegoat, Somber, Apoc, Grandma's Mustache Cone, and Space Soap for their support. The executive producer tears over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me here today in Crusader Kings 3. Thank you as well to Scratch, Flying Flamingo, Fafante, Tsukasa, Kamada, Nighthawk 18, Sondre, Cindersind, Contract, Puppy, The Fog, William Steinbrink, Wharf, Dorian, Europala 84, Sobolo, and The Merp as well. See you tomorrow for Crusader Kings 3. Wow.